Welcome to Build Your Maverick Business, the podcast for underdog, outlier, and renegade entrepreneurs. Brought to you by Strange Creative Studio. If you dream of going off on your own and launching your rebel empire, but don't know where to start, you're in the right place. We'll teach you how to use mindset, branding, and practical advice to build a killer business and transform your world. And now, here's your host, founder of Strange, Alex Pitt. Hello, my darlings. How's it going? If you are listening to this on the day of release or the couple of days following, then I am not sat in my office in West London. No, I'm in Vegas right now. So yeah, coming to you via time travel. I am pre-recording this episode because we are off on our holidays next week. And I didn't want to leave you without an episode, my darlings. Don't say I don't spoil you. So here I am. And today I want to talk to you about something which, I mean, you know, my random ways of inspiration. This is another popular culture one, but I have to, I have to explain a bit better later, later on in this episode why I massively called myself out with this. <laughs> Because I'm going to teach you against doing something that as I was writing it down, I realised I do quite a lot. So we're all learning together, guys. We're all in this together. All right. So yeah, I will get to the subject of this episode soon, but it would not be an episode of Build Your Maverick Business if I didn't go around a magical mystery tour of random inspiration and popular culture references before I actually got to my point. So strap in my loves. Here we go. (laughs) Now, there is a woman who I am so inspired by. A powerful, successful and compassionate woman. She smashes down boundaries and rises up in the face of adversity. She challenges stereotypes and gets shit done with grace and sometimes absolute comedy. That woman, my loves, is Leslie Nope. Shot Cara, she's not real. She's a character in a sitcom. Now, if you have not seen Parks and Rec, please go and watch it now. It's so good. Leslie Nope is the lead character She is hilarious. She is the most committed government employee in all of history, I imagine. She absolutely loves her job. She just actually really wants good things to happen for parks and recreation. She is an amazing role model for women everywhere. She's actually not what I want to talk about today. I'm just fangirling over her a little bit to get us warmed up. The reason that I bring Parks and Rec into this conversation, there is one particular episode which is so bang on point about what I want to talk to you today, and one scene in particular. So what happens is one of the characters, Anne, is pregnant and the father of the child happens to be the most irritatingly slash adorably, depending on how you feel about him, (laughs) one of the most irritatingly positive people on the planet. Like, everything is wonderful. This is the best day of my life. You know, really, really extremely positive. Now, the pregnant character, Anne, is complaining about how bloody difficult it is to be her in that moment in time, which is very understandable. She's very pregnant at this point. Everything hurts, everything is uncomfortable, and everything is just very hard for her. Now, the very positive father of the child, Chris, keeps trying to fix everything and say, this isn't so bad, have you just tried doing all of these things? Shockingly, that does not help. It just makes her feel worse. I'm going to come back to that in a minute. I'm going to talk to you today about something that is rife in the entrepreneurial world right now. I think partly due to the rise in coaching and the move away from this whole like bro culture, hustle, hustle, hustle kind of thing, which was the norm for quite a long while. But that thing I want to talk to you about is toxic positivity. Now I was hanging out in one of my Facebook networks a few months back and someone went on a rant about this and I actually found it so refreshing Now, this woman had put out to some of her peers in another group before she wrote this post that things were just a bit shit for her at the moment. She was working really hard, but she was struggling to make ends meet. She wasn't hitting her goals. She wasn't bringing money in. She was just having a bad time. And she had kids, you know, she had kids to look after. And she was living with this constant state of anxiety of how was she going to put food on the table? It was all a bit much. So she went into this other group asking for some support and maybe some actual practical resources that would help her. Now, what she was met with, and I think if you've been a founder for any length of time, you probably will have experienced this at some point. What she was met with was a hit of toxic positivity. 
Now, what I mean by that is people recommending that she just needed to reconnect with her purpose. She just needed to show some gratitude and all her problems would be solved. Now, unsurprisingly, that didn't fucking help her stop worrying about feeding her kids. It didn't help her in the slightest. (laughs) Now, coming back to what I was talking about at the beginning of this episode, I was so jolted when I read this post because... I realised I can be really guilty of this and I felt awful, but I'm so glad that someone called it out, right? I think we can all be a bit guilty of this sometimes, especially if you are like me, like a kind of generally quite optimistic person. You do try and like put a positive spin on things and you do try and make people feel better. But in this sense, on the receiving end, it's so unhelpful, (laughs) It's so unhelpful to just try and be really, really chirpy and happy about everything all the time, especially when it's shit, right? Because things are shit sometimes. Running a business is really hard. I have said this so many times and I will say it again. Running a business is really hard, right? Not just in terms of the work that has to go into it, the grind, but the emotional toll that it takes on you. Some days you just don't want to get out of bed, Some days you just want to hide under a pillow for and not talk to anyone, not show up to your meetings, not do anything. You just want to regress back to being a child, (laughs) sit there, eat your body weight and sugar and watch cartoons. Now, coming back to that episode of Parks and Rec, the very positive dad, Chris, also gets called out. Right, One of the other characters says to him, you have got to stop trying to fix Anne's problems. You have to say those two magical words that every woman wants to hear. That sucks. <laughs> that is such good advice, right? So I'm going to put a very British, very build your maverick business spin on it. And I'm going to say the advice, the solution for advising others when they are going through a shit time with their business, say to them, that's wank. <laughs> that's shit. I'm so sorry. Just don't try and fix anything for them, right? Just hear them out. Because like a bit of a sounding board is all you need sometimes. You just want to rant. You don't want anyone to say, hey, why don't you just try practicing gratitude and everything will be fine. Not helpful. Not helpful. Just let people have their moment. Now that's if you're advising somebody else who is having a shit time, right? This is what I am going to try and practice from here on in. I'm not going to try and fix anything. I'm not going to try and put a positive spin on it. Just going to say that is really wank. I'm so sorry. But the thing is, you also really have to pay attention to when you're showing toxic positivity to yourself. If you're panicking or you're just upset with yourself because things aren't going well, the thing is, you also have to pay attention to when you're showing toxic positivity to yourself. If things aren't going well and you just want to crawl under that duvet fort and watch your cartoons or cry and scream and have a tantrum and you're pushing those negative feelings down and telling yourself you should be happy, you should be grateful, you shouldn't be feeling these feelings, it's not helpful. All you're doing is adding an extra negative feeling of guilt on top of all of those (laughs) other shitty feelings. That's not helpful. If your business isn't making the money you need it to, or your clients aren't as happy as you wish they were, and instead of being sad or angry or upset about it, you are shoving those feelings down and trying to dance around with daisies in your fucking hair, then A, you're not going to resolve your emotions. They're still going to be there, even if you're ignoring them and pretending that everything is sunny and happy. B, you're going to feel guilty and like you're failing because those emotions haven't gone anywhere if they pop back up again, right? You're just going to make yourself feel so much worse. So my solution with dealing with the shit situations when things are really crap, which they will be, okay? This is my warning to you. Heed my warning. You are going to have days or weeks when things are just shite. When you're struggling, when things aren't going your way and you just want to run. You just want to give up. This is what I recommend you do, okay? Let yourself indulge in it for a bit. Don't try and tell yourself that everything's great and that you shouldn't be feeling this way. Don't try and stop those negative feelings in their tracks. Go and have a bloody cry, okay? (laughs) Have a cry. Have a panic and let it the fuck out until you are spent. Then do something nice for yourself. Right, even if that is just sitting in a dark room quietly, not talking to anyone. Just go with the feeling and do whatever you feel is right for you in that moment to make you feel a bit better. Running a business is very hard and you have got to ride the wave. 
eat the ice cream, watch the cartoons, go for a walk, do whatever you need to to make yourself feel a bit more normal. But do not pretend that everything is fine, okay? So whenever things seem really dark for me, because this happens to me a fair amount, I feel my feelings very hard. (laughs) I do like to have meltdowns. In fact, I came on here a couple of weeks ago and told you how many meltdowns I'd had in one week. I lost count. But the thing is, I don't try and stop that from happening. I will have that meltdown. I will cry a lot. Like a child, I will just sit there and sob until it's done, right? Until it's out, back on track, remembered who the fuck I am. (laughs) Have a cup of tea and get on with it. Okay? Just treat yourself in these times when everything is a bit shit. Like you would treat a friend who's going through a hard time. You would tell them to go and have a little lie down or a nap or a bath or just change your scenery until you feel a bit better. Then you can go back to bossing it, all right? (laughs) Let it all out. Go back, make a plan because it will be okay in the end. You've just got to let yourself feel a bit shit when everything is not going your way. Okay? That is just the reality of it. So don't resist it because you've got to take the bad times with the good. All right, my loves, feel those feelings. No, it won't be like this forever. Remember who the fuck you are. All right, my darlings, that is all from me for this week. Coming down off my emotional rant, girl in the bathroom, start business. Anyway, I will see you all here next week. Got an idea for a maverick business of your own? Learn how to build a powerful brand that will get people obsessed with our online program, not just a pretty logo. You'll learn a simple step-by-step framework that will kickstart your killer brand and help you find your raving fan base. Find out more today at strangecreativestudio.com.